Okay, in this video we're just going to do some more simplifying with exponents and the powers are a little bit bigger than some in some of the previous examples. So, again not too bad, just have to be careful with our arithmetic. So 3 to the 4th, what does that mean? Well it means we have 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, a total of 4 times. Well, if you multiply the first two numbers together, 3 times 3 is going to give us 9. Um, likewise, if we multiply the second two numbers together, or excuse me, I guess I should say the third and fourth numbers, the last pair of 3's will get another 9. And 9 times 9 is simply going to be equal to 81. So 3 to the fourth power is another way to write the number 81. Let's see, 2 to the 6th, a little tedious. So we have 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. So I'm pretty sure that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 of those. And let's see, so if we multiply the first two, we'll get a 4. Then we have all of our other 2's hanging out. So let's see, 4 times 2 would give us 8, and then we have our 3 2's remaining. Um, and we can do the same thing as before, you know, you don't have to show, I, I would say, every single step in general. Um, if we multiply 2 times 2 times 2, that's going to give us another 8. So we would have the 8 from out front times the other 8 from the 1, 2, 3, 2's. So 8 times 8 is simply going to reduce to the number 64. So 2 to the 6th is just another way for writing the number 64. Okay, last but not least here we have negative 1 to the 7th. Well again, all this means is we have negative 1 times negative 1 times negative 1 times negative 1. It's kind of tedious here. Um, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Really the thing about this is, it, what really matters is just signs more than anything. That's, that's what it's going to reduce to. So notice we have a negative and a negative, which is a positive. Then times another negative will make a negative. Times another negative will make it back positive. Times another negative will make it negative. Times another negative will make it positive. And lastly, we have another negative, which means at the end of the day, we're going to get some negative number out. And then I just take 1 times 1 times 1 times 1 7 times. That's just going to simply reduce to the number negative 1 at the end of it. So this is kind of important. You know, if you take a negative number and raise it to an odd exponent, it's, it's always going to be some negative number at the end. So this could have been negative 1 to the 71 power. Again, I would have an odd number of negative signs, which means I would get a negative at the end, and then I've just got a bunch of 1's multiplied. So likewise, negative 1 to the 71 power would equal negative 1 as well.